The core toy line can be a bit confusing. Can be? It is confusing. With vehicles being released in different parts of the world, sometimes we never get to see some of them in stores, even if it's popular. Take Jurassic Clash as an example. These were sets that relied on the animal companion aspect. It's a rather large line that never saw the light of day in my part of the world. Commando Force is confusing in a totally different way. The big question about this series is, who's part of the Commando Force? Let's go to 2003 when the core got an overhaul. They went from the classic 3 and 3 quarter O-ring figures to the 4 inch T-crotch figures. Personally, I think that these figures have very ugly faces. During this time in the core, there were a lot of legacy members that were from the vintage line. Gunnar O'Grady, Justin Case, Flashfire, John Eagle, Large Sarge, Shark, Rick Ranger, and Strike. The newcomers were Firestorm, Flashbang, Recoil, and Hawk. The class of 2003 was called the Core Commando Force. This name has been used many times throughout the toy line. At some point in 2005, Commando Force got four teams, the Bucks, Orcas, Ruse, and Wasps. These teams are known as the Core Special Forces. This name was also used later in the toy line, including new recruits and Total Soldier. These teams have veterans from Commando Force including Rick Ranger, Justin Case, Gunnar O'Grady, and Firestorm. The teams had two new members each. Gills and Orca's Diver, or as I like to call them, Nosferatu, Ogre and Troll, Condor and Vulture, and the two Ruse Soldiers. After Special Forces, the name went back to Commando Force, but many of the characters remained the same as Special Forces even sometimes having the team names. By 2007, everything was mixed up. The name of the toy line went back to its roots and became the core. The final packaging for these types of figureheads would be designed by my friend, Grizzgeek. These packages would feature orange hexagons and would be a testing ground for the next series of the core, the core new recruits. The new recruits would drop all of the veterans from the vintage line and only keep a select few figures with obstructed faces since these new figures would have newer and cleaner face sculpts. Although Vulture is the only one that has that old style, detailed face. Even though the toy line went back to being called The Core during the pre-New Recruits era, there would be sets called Special Forces, which used the teams from 2005. These teams had different members. Other items from this time would be under the name The Core, including the hard to find Neon Core members that would be released with the Bio Wings. Most Core collectors would call this Commando Force or Special Forces since they use most of the original heads from the 4 inch figures. I hope this helped with some information about the Core Commando Force and the Core Special Forces. And stay tuned for more Core videos.